brick by brick. I'll pull your heartstrings brick by brick. Make you love me. Hey girl, let me build you up. Play an optimist, let me feel you good. Good morning, you guys. So it's we about to leave out me and Pancake. We're going on a, a walk today. Say hello, we're going for a walk. Yes, today we are going for a walk again. Yesterday we was out there. Y'all seen us. But girl, yesterday, was it yesterday? Did I record yesterday? I can't even remember if I recorded yesterday. But let me tell y'all. Oh my goodness. My freaking legs was killing me so bad yesterday. I couldn't even walk the whole two miles. I had to walk like, I think it was like a mile. My freaking shins felt like somebody had like a like 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 somebody just came in the middle of the night and just started fucking hitting me with bags of with with socks full of like with socks full of rocks that's how they were so sore my freaking shins was like so sore okay like seriously i can't believe how sore my shins were okay man and yes, I'm going outside for a walk with a face mask because you never know who you're going to encounter. People be walking by in the walk path and you have to see me with all the sun. It's a little dusty. I look a little dusty. Hold on. Yeah, so what was I saying? They cannot be forgetting so much. I think I smoked too much weed. Um, what the hell was I saying? Anyway, my legs was hurting. I think that's what I was talking about. My legs was hurting so bad. Clearly, I was not talking about my shin. My freaking shin was hurting so fucking bad that I just felt like I was, I was just, cry look, I was ready to cry as I was walking. Oh, but I was, I was talking about the face mask. Yeah, because listen, listen, you don't know who you're going to encounter. People be on those walk paths and stuff. You know, don't be a lot of people, but you know, you got to pass them. So whenever somebody is like walking towards me, you know, I put my face mask up because I don't know, they could be running and spit flying out their mouth. You, you just don't know. They could have sneezed like down a little bit. You just don't know. And me, I think I'm over paranoid. Pinky, you better not be trying to be acting on crazy. Oh, but like I was saying, you don't know who is on these walk paths. And here comes some people right now. They got like, they jogging. They got like a cute big dog and stuff. And they walking towards me. So she act like she's a big dog and she's this little. Okay, look at her. I don't know what she's actually so doing. She want to go after a damn German Shepherd. What the hell is wrong with her? Pancake, you need to chill out. She got attitude now. And trust me when I tell you, she will have a little attitude because I see her side eyeing me. You're going to stay on one side. One side. You're not going to be going across my legs and making me fall. Pancake is driving me crazy. She definitely is. I'm really trying to be out here losing this weight. I don't really know if it's, you know what? It's not even about losing this weight because I ain't fat. And I don't give a fuck if I was fat. What the fuck is fat anyway, okay? What does that mean? Everybody don't have to be the same size. So the hell with all of that fat shit. Oh, you need to lose weight. I mean, if it's for your health, then go ahead and do it. But that's the reason why I'm out here. It ain't even to lose no weight because I like all of this, okay? It's my knees and my legs. But you ever see a person and they have like these really bad varicose veins they're like are popping out their leg like you can see the veins all on their legs you go to the bathroom oh my god with these people and they motherfucking dogs can't they go somewhere else so like i was saying, you ever see somebody with bad veins in their legs like their legs be so bad that their veins are just popping out of their skin you can see the veins damn near on the surface of the skin and it just looks really really scary you know what i mean like really really bad and sometimes they have bruising on the legs your ass over here girl come on now well that's what my legs look like especially on my um my left leg excuse me there are people approaching but anyway you ever see those people and they have like really bad veins in their legs their legs their legs look ugly and stuff well that's how my legs look and so good morning how are you guys today i'm good thank you are you saying good morning to pancake that's how my legs look. These masks stink. Does it hold in your funky ass breath? Do I brush my teeth? Anyway, so <laughs> yeah, so that's how my legs look. My legs are really bad and the circulation is so poor. And I was just born like that. And like, you know, as I get older, it just gets worse. And I noticed that whenever I had kids, it just got worse. But um, it's just like really bad. That's why I don't like to wear like short skirts and stuff. So like I was saying, you guys, Come back here. Hey, Pancake. Hey, Pancake. 
Hi, how are you? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> how have you been? Good, and yourself? I'm good. good. Just trying to stay safe. But... Pancake, yes. Pancake, pancake driving me crazy every morning. <laughs> good morning. How are you guys today? Will you have a good one, dear? It was good seeing you again. I do speak to a lot of the elderly people when I'm on my walk because those are the only people that I see. But um, I do see other people too, like my age that are on the walk too. Um, and But they're running and stuff. They don't really conversate. But the older people, they always conversate with me. So I just sit, not sit, but I stand around with them sometimes and talk with them because it's cool, it's fun. But I can't really be talking to you like that right now because it's like COVID is going on. But look, they remember my dog name, okay? So anyway, yeah, like I was saying, I have really bad circulation, so I have to go for walks. It's not about losing weight for me. Like, I don't really, I mean, I could I could lose some my stomach, but that shit is not going to help with a walk. I'm going to need a doctor for that. <laughs> but, um, so if y'all want to take up a GoFundMe or some surgery, then go ahead and start it. We could call it uh, Muffin Makeover. Yes. Whoever want to start the GoFundMe, just go ahead and start it. Let me know, and then we could just, you know, get it popping, Okay. Maybe I should quit fucking smoking weed. That's fucked up, though. I don't know. You know, I like taking y'all on my walk for me. It allows me to vlog, even though this is like the wackest vlog ever, just me walking. But you know what? It allows us to see nature, and I'm able to share things with you that's in my community, which I really do like. You know what I'm saying? I live in Garden Lakes. It's a nice community. You know, it's a really big community. Um, nice size community. It's like big. I don't know if you want to call it really big, but it's a nice size. Oh, she walking with her face mask on too. And um, I really like it here. I've been here for almost seven years. It's the only house I've lived in since I've been here in Arizona. So, you know what I'm saying? I really do like um, Garden Lakes. This mask really does think. I don't think it has anything to do with my teeth. Okay. Because my teeth is new. Y'all know these teeth is not even my teeth, okay? That's why they look so fucking nice on the top. Just the top, not the bottom. You know, they have a lot of nice things in here. A little gated community-like thing. I would vlog in my house, too. Listen, you know how your family just is like enough already. We just be like enough. And I like to be able to go outside and vlog with you guys because like I said, you get to see what's in my community and shit. And then I could just talk about whoever I want and nobody can not hear me, right? But now they're not getting on my nerves. It's just, you know what? Some people really need to mature. Like my daughter who's 23, her birthday is coming up. So she'll be 24, mature, grow the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm not gonna keep telling you nothing. And after a while, a person get tired of you. They get tired of telling you shit, for real, straight up. Like I don't have time for bullshit and I'm not gonna be bothered with no bullshit. I am on a diet, boo. I am no longer eating anybody's BS, their negative energy, and other bitches' problems. You know what I'm saying? I'm too old for that and I've been through enough. I've had a rough eight months of my life. I feel like this. I don't owe nobody nothing. I don't owe nobody no explanation. I don't, I don't, have, to, I don't have to agree with you. I don't have to side with you. But you're not about to be disrespectful in my home or just keep pissing me the fuck off because there's a door there's a door in the front there's a door in the side there's a door in the back you can even go out the motherfucking window you don't got to be there you understand what i'm saying and these kids sometimes they feel like they entitled to some shit because they're your kids no motherfuckers y'all ain't entitled to shit okay but what y'all earn that's what the fuck you entitled to what you earn and like i said i've had a rough eight months you know what i'm saying my son died Come on, Pancake. You always want to smell something. My son died in August, and it's been eight months now. And I have finally, and I ain't even going to say finally, but like I said, I've accepted the terms. But also, when I accepted the terms, it also changed a part of me and my life and my beliefs. You know what I'm saying? So, therefore, I'm not messing around with no bullshit, meaning I'm not, I don't have time for no bullshit drama, no bullshit anything, no negativity. And I'm, let me tell y'all. I, I like to argue. I will argue anybody down. You know what I'm saying? Because if I feel like I'm right, I'm right. But also, I like to get my point across. And not only that, but I just feel like this. Don't ever disrespect me. Don't ever disrespect me because I take that shit real personal. I don't tolerate disrespect. I do not tolerate disrespect. 
Like, don't ever disrespect me. And once you disrespect me, we got a problem. And I, I can get beside myself sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I, I definitely do get beside myself at times. Not even beside myself, but I can get out of character, okay? I can get ratchet. I don't, I'm pretty sure we all can. But that's not me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm too old for that. When I say too old, I'm too mature for that shit. That's just not for me. You know, I have realized a lot of shit in my life. And I'm grown up now. I've been grown the fuck up. But when I say now, is because the things that I feel and the faith that I have and the belief... I'm grown. I'm too grown for that. You know what I'm saying? Hashtag too grown, not hashtag ungrown. Okay? That'd be my shit. So if y'all want to use it, let me know. I don't have time for the fickle shit. So if you want to be an immature adult, then you need to take your ass to your immature ass own shit. Either way, I'm not dealing with the bullshit. I'm just not with the negative shit. You know what I'm saying? I done came too far. God done brought me too far. God. God done brought me too far in my life to have to deal with the negative or to put up with it. You understand me? So, not being bothered. We out, right, Penny? Where you at, Penny? Yeah, we out. We almost home, right, Penny? But just got off the phone with my mom. And I'm just showing you guys the neighborhood, like what it looks like, you know. There's lots of cars on the street now because, well, you know, people are home. This house across the street, oh my God, I'm gonna show you guys this house across the street. And it's on the corner. Oh, my God. This house is so nice. Really, really nice. But you know what's the crazy part about it? Why do white people never use... They don't never have no fucking curtains or blinds in their window. They just leave their windows bare so that everybody can see their ass. Like, nobody don't want to look at y'all, okay? But this house don't never have no curtains or blinds in it. And I don't, I'm not sure if it still don't. But this house is... Look, this is the house. I like this house. I don't know why, but I really, really like it. Um, Three-car garage... The house is bad and i like that little light in front of it too like the little light in front of it is so cute like you see that little white light the house is so pretty okay but them motherfuckers don't never have no blinds in their window never no curtains i've walked past there at night okay and sometimes it don't be even night it'll be like in the winter time it'll be like six in the morning so you know it's still dark and you can see all in their shit like why don't y'all put some motherfucking curtains up like, put some curtains up. Don't nobody want to see y'all. Uh -huh. <sighs> Me and my mom was talking. You know, my mom lived in New York City and stuff. She lived in Flushing, Queens, you know. And so Flushing is now. Come on, girl, because you didn't shit twice. Flushing now is predominantly Asian people, Chinese people. Like, when I was growing up, it was blacks and Puerto Ricans and some white people. You know, I live... I live, I grew up in the projects, the bland, the bland project. So who's ever watching this from the bland in Flushing Queens, what's up? Okay. But anyway, so, you know, that's how it was. But, you know, the Chinese people moved in and they like, took over everything, basically. So that's where my mom lived. So I, be, I just got the phone with her. She was just telling me how she just seen this video on YouTube that the wet market in Flushing has reopened. So I had to tell her, just because it's a wet market don't mean that they sell exotic animals, but that is cheaper, and that's why they call it that. But they ain't got no exotic animals, she said, but they have some frogs for sale to eat. Like, I don't understand. I ain't racist, but what I am racist is against is people with fucked up attitudes. Like, you know what I'm saying? But when you have a fucked up attitude, that's when I don't like you. Now I'm trying to they don't want like black people coming to McDonald's. They got these signs up, cause I've seen these videos and shit. They, they, be turning, they be turning black people away from the services of China. Like somewhere in China, I can't remember where because I can't even pronounce some shit. But you know, it'd be like, they don't want the black people there because they feel like we are the spread and we are the reason for this motherfucking virus. Like I ain't blaming shit on nobody, but don't you dare fucking say nothing about my people i don't give a fuck if they from africa or wherever don't you dare say nothing about people of color and that goes for any race when they got all these outbreaks over there and not only that yo these motherfuckers is nasty hopefully i remember to put the video link if i don't then you have to look it up yourselves but there's several videos on youtube and there's a new one that was surfaced probably like a few months ago these motherfuckers in china because they had a spring festival shit celebration that when the outbreak broke out they have 
fucking wet markets are fucking animals. When I say animals, I'm not talking about um, a motherfucking chicken or a cow. I'm talking about dogs. Yo, do you stay showing you live dogs, them killing them, because it's so good to eat. Like, what type of shit is that? Talking about, well, these are not the dogs. Some of these dogs are bred to, to eat. It's to make our country um, economy flourish. Word? So you eat dogs to make your economy flourish. I would think, like, in China, y'all got a good economy since y'all motherfuckers make everything and sell it. You know what I'm saying? So I would think that they have, like, a good economy. They don't need to eat dog dogs, but that's what they over there eat. So... But then they had the nerve to say that black people are the cause for this outbreak and they don't want us at their establishment. Surely did kick this black person out of the McDonald's. Like, first of all, I wouldn't even want to eat McDonald's. I don't give a fuck where you at. I did like McDonald's at a time, but who who didn't as a kid? Everybody liked McDonald's, but you couldn't get me to eat that shit right now. I'd rather eat a bowl of cereal, for real, on a starving day. I'd rather, come on, poopy. I'd rather eat a bowl of cereal. But yeah, we was talking about that, me and my mom, and she lived in Flushing. So I was like, you know, you better go mask up and stuff. Cause she was going to the center, you know, in the projects we got the center. And on Thursday and Fridays, they be giving out food since this COVID shit. Now mind you, I sent out my mom, I sent my mom like some food baskets and stuff because I don't want her going to the store. Even though Target and BJ's and all that is directly across the street from my house. I just don't want her leaving her house. So I just buy all her food. And plus people was hoarding and buying food. So, you know, you really couldn't find the shit she wanted. So I had sent her out big ass box, so it's UPS. And then I had a big ass care food package sent to her from one of the websites. Well, she, anyway, she was, she goes to the center, you know, cause it's senior day and they giving them out care packages. Now shit, I wish they would get some motherfucking care packages over here in Garden Lakes, okay? Because the care packages that they be giving out to her, well, she, she, she sends me pictures, okay? Yes. And the care packages is dope. Like, can I get a care package? Yo, they was giving out Purdue chickens, chicken breast, skinless chicken breast. They was giving out all the shit that you be looking for in the store now. I'm like, wow. Like, this ain't no government cheese shit, okay? This like some real food food. And so the Chinese people be trying to go over there, but you don't even live in the center. They don't want black people in their shit, but y'all want to sell shit to black people. Like, and I hate to be that type of person because that's not me. But don't you dare say no shit about black people bringing the corona. This ain't even gonna be no kid-friendly vlogging no more because I'm just cursing up a storm. About to go home and take me a shower. I figured I'd put on some makeup and do a video today. Yeah. Being that, you know, um, I need some videos done. And I need some paper, you know. I don't know about chasing no bag, but I like to get paid. Okay. You hear that dog barking? I know you hear that dog barking. How was your walk? I got me some DDs already. You know, that's in the refrigerator waiting. <laughs> this neighbor right here. Let me tell you. They, they live right next door to me because I'm home. Now. One day me and Pancake was walking by, right? Now, mind you, I have... Look. This is my doggy bags for picking up the poop, okay? Last one right here, but I have a mess load of them. So many of those bags is ridiculous. So I'm walking by one day with Pancake and it was nighttime, it was it was nighttime, okay? And um, like I said, we, we've been cool for since years, but I had to have, I had to not be cool with them no more for a minute. So now I'm home and I'm in my garage. So you know what I'm saying, I'm walking home, I'm walking home with Pancake because we went on a walk. Not not no long ass walk like just now, but a walk. Just around the fucking corner. And, you know, we always speak to each other, me and them. So I'm walking past and um the the guy from next door comes out. The they like fifty something years old. His name is Oscar. I can't remember his wife's name, they're Mexican. So anyway, you know, like they, they, they like in their fifties, something like that. Maybe very early sixty, maybe sixty, but very or very late fifties. So I'm walking past their house. He came outside, all right. He came out the door, like if he was looking for me, and was like, "Why do you let your dog?" He's like, "Can I ask you something?" And I was like, "Yep, yeah. hey Oscar." I was like, "Hey Oscar," you know, friendly hello, like always. He was like, "Can I ask you something?" And I was like, "Sure, what's up?" Why are you letting your dog shit on my poop? Go to use my lawn. Why are you letting your dog go to the bathroom on my lawn? I was like, what? Yo, my whole face like changed because it went from hey to what? You know what I'm saying? So I was like, what? 
He was like, your dog, your dog is using the bathroom on my lawn. I was like, my dog ain't use no bathroom on your lawn. What makes you think my dog use the bathroom on your lawn? My dog don't have to poop on your lawn. I got bags right here and I showed him the bags. And he was like, well, my wife, my wife said she sees somebody, lady walking by with the, with the blonde hair. And I'm like, do I look like I got blonde hair? And at that time I wasn't even wearing no blonde wigs. Okay. I hadn't wore a blonde wig in so long. Like, bitch, you could see, I could have purple hair. You don't even know who the fuck you're talking about. So anyway, he was like, my wife sees she has some lady with blonde hair. And I was like, well, it wasn't me. And I don't, I don't have to let my dog go poop on your lawn because I have bags. Why would I do that? You're my neighbor. And he still kept, well, who do you, who dog did that? What dog did that? What dog pooping? At that point, I was like, do I look like the dog inspector to you? Do I look like the shit patrol? And that's when I walked off. Like I really was trying so hard not to use the curse word because they're my neighbors and I like them. But you're not about to ask me what dog shit on your motherfucking lawn. If your wife has been watching out the window, then maybe she would know. But my dog don't got a shit on nobody's lawn. Like don't accuse. And then I, I was like, don't accuse me of shit. So let me tell y'all, like mad months went by. This was before my son passed away. Okay. I think like a whole year went by because I would not speak to them. I came back outside, I seen him and he tried to wave at me. I looked at him like, y'all know you're not waving at me, fuck you. That was my attitude. So a few weeks ago, they have a dog too. They got a little white dog that was the same size. That's a little tiny bit bigger than Pancake. It looked like my other dog that I had that passed away sugar. That dog's always on their lawn and I was watching that dog. I watched their dog shit on their lawn, but you wouldn't think it's my motherfucking dog, but whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, just because it's little shit don't mean that my dog did it. Little shit is for a bunch of dogs. But I seen their dog. That, that dog always on their fucking lawn. That's their dog. And I don't give a fuck because that's their dog. So a couple weeks ago, I come outside I'm, and I'm taking Nate to school. This was a few weeks ago before, before this lockdown shit. Okay. And I see their dog on my motherfucking lawn. Right by my son's car right here. Okay. Right over in there. All right, right over in that little space, space right there. I seen a dog. I ain't paying no mind because I had to go. Let me tell y'all, when I came back, sure enough, there was some motherfucking shit and it was not old dry shit. It was new. So I was like, oh, all right, they go shit in my lawn. That's cool. It was still too early. So I waited till later on and then I rang the doorbell. Because, listen, you want to poke fingers at somebody. Now we're going we gonna to do that. I ain't trying to be petty, but you know. So I ring the doorbell and Oscar come outside. Oscar come outside. And I was like, can I have a word with you? And I said, you know, I really didn't appreciate I said, you know your dog? Your your, your little white dog? And he goes, Yeah, I said, you know your dog was on my lawn this morning, right? And it's shit on my lawn. I didn't even use the word poop because fuck it. I'm not a kid. You know, I'm like, your dog shit on my lawn. That's what I'm saying. And he was like, Oh, did where? I will pick it up. He went in the house and got the bag. And then I I showed him. Did this, did this bitch, his wife, come walk, run outside? That is not for my dog. That is not for my dog. I said, why ain't it? Why ain't it from your dog? My dog doesn't shit on the lawn. I said, you a goddamn lie. Your dog don't shit on the fucking lawn? I said, really? Where? I said, that's why I seen your dog. I see your dog shit on your lawn all the fucking time. And I seen your dog shit on my lawn. My dog doesn't go over there to your side. I said, you're a liar. You're a liar because I watched your dog this morning. Why would I even got to lie about that shit? You know what I'm saying? She's still running her mouth, and so her husband is telling her to go inside. And I was like, yo, you better watch it. Watch who you talking to, because I'm not your average neighbor. I don't tolerate disrespect. I do not tolerate disrespect. Clean the shit up. So he told her to go in the house. He told her to shut up and go in the house. Mind you, he already had issues with her because she was cheating on him. They was outside having a big altercation one time. But anyway, so when he finished picking up the shit, he was like, you know, he apologized. And I said, listen, that's fine and all, but I just want to tell, say this to you. I really didn't appreciate what you did. You came outside that, that time and accused me of my dog shitting on your lawn. I said, you didn't have to be like that. You didn't have to talk to me like that. It's one thing to accuse a person. And it's another to ask the person. I said, what you did was accuse me. I said, my dog ain't never shit on nobody's lawn. And if she does, I have a bag to pick it up with. So I don't need to leave nobody's dog shit there. Okay. I said, but your wife? she got a whole world of problems. And you know, now we speak to each other, but I don't speak to her because she think her dog don't shit on the lawn. Maybe your dog shits in the house. Maybe it was her that shit on the lawn. You know what I'm saying? But I did tell her this. I said, my dog ain't shit on your lawn. She kept trying to say that. I said, next time I'm shit on your motherfucking lawn. That's what I did say. Next time I shit on your lawn since you think it was my dog and it wasn't. Yeah, this is, this is neighbors. Like I don't speak to them and I don't speak to the other people on the other side of me that um 
they ain't even been living there probably for like two years, these other, these old ass white people, okay? And I ain't, like I said, I ain't racist, I ain't got shit against nobody, but the old wife, she always was talking to me. The wife always was talking to me. She always would speak to me. And the husband, he wouldn't say nothing to me. And I would give a fuck, because I would, you, listen, I would prefer you not to say a goddamn thing to me. That'd make it even better, right? So one day, she just decided to stop speaking to me out of the blue. Like, I don't really care, because let me tell y'all, she talked too long any fucking way. And if I was on the phone and she came over to just to inquire about my decorations, like, you, when you see me on the phone, why is you holding a full-blown conversation with me? That's rude, okay? I'm on the phone and you're holding a full-blown conversation with me. But anyway, she don't talk to me anymore. She don't talk to none of us anymore. And I'm talking about this house right here, right next door. Um, she don't talk to us no more because my other car, you see it's not in the driveway right now, okay? But at the time, um, it was parked in the street, my car, my little car, and my truck was in the driveway, okay? I didn't really bring my truck in the house, in, in the garage that much. So I had my car parked on the street, and I didn't have much space because right there, right in this empty space right here, um, in this, in this empty space right here is where Tati's car will be parked, and the neighbor's other car, and... Then I have my son Wells's car right here. And then, so I would park it right here. Okay, like in this little space right here, I would park it right after my driveway and I would park it like right here. This shit ain't in front of your door. But here's the funny thing. People get me, people have me going crazy sometimes. People is crazy. Just because you rent a house, you don't, they don't even own that house, they rent it, okay? It's for rent. I know this because I live right here. Um. But even if you own the house, don't mean you own the motherfucking street that the house is on. Like, you don't own the sidewalk in the street. Anyway, they gonna come outside talking about, is this your car? Bitch, you knew this is my fucking car. You see me getting this car. You know this is my goddamn car. But I ain't say that. You know, this is the husband. Is this your car? I was like, yeah. Well, can you move your car? I'm tired of looking at it. Okay? This ain't even me. Um, like, <laughs> like, you're tired of looking at something? Like... <laughs> So you're tired of looking at my car. <laughs> Why did my daughter Tati was like, well, too fucking bad. Close your damn eyes. <laughs> okay. Like who the fuck comes out their house and tells somebody to move their car because they tired of looking at it. Like who the fuck are you? And I just looked and was like, what she said. Okay. <laughs> like <laughs> people got nerves for days, y'all. But anyway, I'm going to go. This was like a long vlog. I'm home now. Oh, man, I'm, I'm going to have to spray these. Uh, look, look, this is what is on my door, okay? This is what I have taped on my door. Due to COVID-19, leave shoes by front door. If you don't, I will trash your shoes. Well, what I really wanted to say is due to COVID-19, your ass can't come up in here if you don't live. That's what I really wanted to say. And I might just have to, to say, to, to change that. But Right, Rami? Come on, Poopy. Come on, come in, come in. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. Let me take your stuff off, okay? I wish I could get her haircut, but because of this COVID. I'm not rubbing you. I can't. And God forbid. Well, the girl who I, the girl comes here to touch her hair, but I don't know if that would be safe. You know, I don't really want nobody around me at this time. That's her rubbing her stuff. Are you okay? Poopy. Poopy, pancake, pancake, I know you hear me. So the girl who cuts her hair, she comes here and does it. And I'm so wishy-washy, like, not wishy-washy, but paranoid. Like, I, I don't know. I, you be, if you be at other people's house cutting their dog's hair, then you could just have it too. So, so we'll see you guys when it's soon to come. I know you better stop leaving your little toys all over the place. Get him, spin him, unless I'm soon to get him. I put the records on him. Big mans can't bend him. Ops, we hit him. Fuck him off, he bend him.